In this video, we'll do the derivative of x to the x using the limit definition of derivative. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a future video. Okay, the derivative of x to the x will be the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h, which is x plus h to the x plus h. Basically, just putting inputting in x plus h for x, minus the original, which is x to the x, all over h. So now we're going to do something weird. We're going to subtract and add something to the top. So we have eight limit as h goes to 0 of x plus h to the x plus h. We want to see the exponent to be x. So we have minus x plus h to the x. And we have to add back the same thing to not change anything. And then we have minus x to the x all over h. So now we can split these limits up. And then first of all, we can notice we can factor stuff out. So of the first two terms, we can factor out x plus h to the x. So we have the limit as h goes to 0 of x plus h to the x. And then we have the limit as h goes to 0 of x plus h. Now we remove the x term, so we just have h minus, we just remove this, this will be 1 all over h. And why can we do this limit of the limit? Because if, if it converges, you can take it out. So in this case, we have x plus in the middle, we have x plus 0 as h goes to 0. So this would just be x to the x. So we can replace this with x to the x. Good. Now the second limit we have. So we can do the same thing. But unfortunately, x plus h over x kind of looks weird, but we have to deal with it. So we can divide by x to the x and then factor out an x to the x. So that will be x plus h over x, which is... So we're going to have factor on x to the x. We're going to be left with the limit as h goes to 0. For the first term, we'll be left with... Okay. First term, we'll be left with x over x, which is 1, plus h over x, which is h over x, all raised to the x. x to the x will be removed, so it's minus 1 all over h. Okay, that's good. Now, as this is the weird part. As h goes to 0, even though this has h at the end, we have x plus h. And so as h goes to 0, we can take the limit of that term, so that will be just x, right? So that's just x to the h in total. We can do the same thing on the other term. Okay, so how do we deal with this? So we have, okay, so 1 plus h over x, all raised to the x, can be written as 1 plus h over x, raised to the x over h, and then all raised to the h. So the way we want to do this is something... Some, something x to the h. Okay, so now we can just do the limit of the inside here. So this will be the limit, as h goes to 0, of 1 plus h over x, I'll raise the x over h. So we know that e is the limit as h goes to 0. One way of saying is 1 plus h to the 1 over h. Okay, so now let's let, for this limit here, we can just let m be h over x because we see in here so this will be the limit as h goes to 0 m will go to 0 over x which will go to 0 and then we have 1 plus h over x we defined as m and then x over h is the reciprocal so that would be 1 over m and as we so showed here h is a dummy variable so h going to 0 means that it, it goes to e okay so the second limit, we have e to the h. So here, we have this. It's just e to the h. Okay, and that looks way simpler. Okay, so let's first look at the e to the h one. So we have limit as h goes to 0, e to the h minus 1 all over h. So how do we look at this? So using the definition that e equals the limit as h goes to 0, of 1 plus h all raised to the 1 over h. You can actually just replace e with this definition if the limit goes to, if the limit of h goes to 0. So this is the limit as h goes to 0. We'll replace e with this term because we're in the limit as h goes to 0. So that would be 1 plus h all raised to the 1 over h, then raised to the h because we have e to the h minus 1 all over h. We'll look right here. h multiplied by 1 over h will cancel leaving us with 1 plus h minus 1, which the 1's cancel, leaving us with 
h over h, which will cancel, leaving us with 1, and that is great. So now let's look at the limit as h goes to 0. So let's just cancel this. So this is all equal to 1. Okay, let's look at the limit as h goes to 0 of x to the h minus 1 all over h, knowing that this e to the h minus 1 over h limit goes to 1. So this might seem weird, but let's replace m. So let's replace x to the h with m to the k, and that might seem really weird. So let's solve for k first. And let's solve for h first because we want to replace this on the denominator. x to the h we already know is m to the k. So we can take the log on both sides, leaving us with h times ln of x equals, so we have k times ln of m. But there's a better way of doing this, excuse me. So x to the h can be replaced with e to the m, and then taking h on both, ln, ln on both sides, leaving us with h times ln of x equals ln of e will be just 1, so we just have m. So h will be m over ln of x. This will be the limit as, okay, as h goes to 0, we will have x to the h equals e to the m, so that would be x to the 0 equals e to the m, so e to the m equals 1. That means that m equals 0, so m goes to 0 x to the h equals e to the m minus 1 all over h, which we defined as m over ln x. We did the reciprocal, so that's 1 over h, so that will be ln of x all over m. But look at this. What is this? We just defined that as 1. So this is 1, leaving us with ln of x. Okay, it's great. So now this is equal to ln of x. So now we can factor out x to the x again. So we have x to the x times ln of x plus 1. And that is the end of the video. Hope you liked it.